This is the remembering digital storytelling of Juliet Gordon Lowe, the founder of the Girl Scouts of America. Juliet Gordon Lowe, known as Daisy by family and friends, was born October 31, 1860 in Savannah, Georgia. Because she was born into an elite Southern family, Miss Lowe had the freedom to travel and pursue her many interests. This is a portrait of Juliet Gordon Lowe that is displayed at the Juliet Lowe birthplace in Savannah. The Girl Scouts of America was founded in 1912 at the Andrew Lowe House in Savannah. Juliet Gordon Lowe lived in the post-Civil War South. She moved from a childhood of Southern upper-class privilege to go on to found the Girl Scouts and accomplish a major service to people of all classes and races. Growing up, Juliet was known to be rebellious and tomboyish. She struggled to fit into the conventional image of the aristocratic Southern Belle of her time. As a woman that refused to conform to gender norms, Juliet Gordon Lowe was discriminated against men that felt superior. After meeting the founder of the Boy Scouts, Juliet was interested in forming a similar group for girls. However, Sir Robert Baden Powell would not permit a girls group to be called Scouts. Like others of his time, he could not see girls learning to live outdoors and be leaders. Juliet Gordon Lowe was determined to form the Girl Scouts, and from that very first gathering of a small troop of 18 culturally and ethnically diverse girls, Juliet broke the conventions of time, reaching across class, cultural, and ethnic boundaries to ensure all girls, including those with so-called disabilities, had a place to grow and develop their leadership skills. Using her innate talent for fundraising and public relations, combined with her vast network of friends and supporters, she led Girl Scouts with passion and determination, ensuring it was, and always would be, an experience that was girl-led. Juliet Gordon Lowe devoted the next 15 years to building the organization which would become the largest voluntary association for women and girls in the United States. She enlisted friends and family in the cause and traveled throughout the nation recruiting leaders and members. She drafted the Girl Scout laws, supervised the writing of the first handbook in 1913, and provided most of the financial support for the organization during its early years. In 1913, along with W.J. Hoxie, a noted naturalist from Savannah, Juliet Gordon Lowe prepared an official Girl Scout handbook, which was adapted from the original handbook for British Girl Guides. The vision of Juliet Gordon Lowe lives on today in the Girl Scouts across the nation and globe who carry on her legacy. She is remembered and honored by the generations of people whose lives have been touched by the Girl Scouts. This is the Girl Scout promise. Juliet Gordon Lowe dedicated her life to fulfill this promise and teach young girls to be true to themselves and help others. Miss Lowe was a fighter. Even though she struggled with a hearing disability, depression, and breast cancer, she never let others know of her problems. Juliet Gordon Lowe could have lived a privileged life of a Southern elite, but instead she donated most of her time and money to the Foundation of Girl Scouts.